this video, we will walk through how to set up the 2000X series to decode and trigger on I2C serial bus traffic. We will also show how to use the scope's search and navigation capability and segmented memory to capture multiple occurrences of a particular frame. To complete these steps, your scope must be licensed with the I2C trigger and decode option. If you are interested in trying out the serial options available on the 2000X series, go into the Help menu and click Start 30-Day Trial. You can verify the installed options on your oscilloscope under Help and About Oscilloscope. Before we begin, go ahead and connect Channel 1 to your serial clock signal and Channel 2 to your serial data signal. Then press Auto Scale. You should see what appears to be an untriggered display of two digital signals. Your scope is actually triggering on rising edges of channel 1, which is the scope's default trigger condition. Let's first set up the scope to intelligently decode and trigger on this data stream based on the I2C protocol. Press the serial front key and under Mode, select I2C. Press Signals and verify that SCL is defined as channel 1 and SDA is defined as channel 2. The trigger thresholds have already been set for us by the auto scale. Press back to return to the previous menu and then press address size to verify your signal's address size is selected properly. Finally, zoom the scope's time base out to see data being decoded using our fast MegaZoom 4 architecture at up to 50,000 waveforms per second. Let's now set up the scope to trigger when it detects an acknowledged read operation from a specific address. Press Trigger, select Serial 1, and press Trigger On to change what ITC traffic to trigger on. Let's select Frame. Press Address to set your signal's address of interest using the Entry knob. Our signal uses Hex Address 29. You should now see a stable waveform trace on your scope's display. Our particular frame is interpreted as a read operation from address 29 with an acknowledge followed by a data byte equal to FF with an acknowledge. Finally, is another data byte equal to either 80 or C0 without an acknowledge. Let's now capture a long stream of data and then search through the decoded record using our lister feature. Zoom the scope's time base out, but not too much. We want to prevent undersampling. Press single to stop repetitive acquisitions, press serial, and then press lister. Press scroll lister and we can use the entry knob to scroll through the decoded data on the lister table. If you want to zoom in on a particular frame, push the entry knob or tap the zoom to selection soft key. You can snap back to the full zoomed out view using the undo zoom soft key at the bottom. Let's now perform an automatic search to find every occurrence of a missing acknowledge. We will then automatically navigate to each of these occurrences. Press the search front panel key and tap the search for soft key and select missing acknowledge as our search criteria. The white triangles mark each found occurrence from our search. These frames are also marked in orange in the first column of our lister table. The number of found events is also indicated near the bottom of the display. To navigate to each frame that the search has found, press the front panel navigation keys near the time base controls. Let's now use the scope's segmented memory mode to capture 250 occurrences of our trigger condition. To complete the rest of this video, your scope must be licensed with the segmented memory option, which is also included in the 30-day trial. Press the Acquire Front Panel key, tap the Segmented key, and press Number of Segs. Set the value to 250 by dialing the Entry knob. Press the Segmented Soft key to begin Segmented Acquisition. Once completed, you can tap the Current Segment Soft key and then turn the Entry knob to review all of our captured segments. Segmented Memory optimizes oscilloscope acquisition memory by only capturing important segments of a waveform based on the trigger conditions and time-based settings of the user. Note that we can also view the decoded I2C data in the lister format 
and we can also perform search navigation on the segments. To get more information on the I2C serial decode protocol and applications for the InfiniVision 2000X series, please visit the website that you see above or contact a local distribution partner for a free demonstration.